Vendors at this year's event are just looking to make a sale. As Beth Alexander explains, We Will Go Arts is looking to fulfill a higher purpose. These are made out of fence wood, as you can see. And so that's a really fun product that people like to hang on the wall, to hang on their door. At the We Will Go Art booth, simple but beautifully crafted wood pieces draw you in. But it's nothing like the welcome you'll get from Amy Lancaster. We have been in ministry since 2003. We've lived downtown since 2005. Amy and her husband started We Will Go Ministries in downtown Jackson, opening a coffee shop and woodworking shop to help out their neighbors. Our heart is to make disciples of Christ, so it's a really practical way to make disciples. So we are able to really spend time with neighbors. We're right here in Jackson. We're off Fair Street. We've lived downtown for years and years. So it's a way that we're able to really spend time with our neighbors and to actually give them an actual skill and an actual job. The ministry gives people resources to find jobs and fulfillment in life and they use every resource they're given. Like we cut down a tree on the property and so a lot of times we, we used a lot of that wood to make cutting boards. So this is a really beautiful piece. Ornaments. A little Mississippis. People really, really like those card holders and signs. Um, our Fruit of the Spirit sign is something that people really, really love. And again, it's all made here. But the most beautiful part of this booth are the people. Amy believes that Jesus makes all things new, showing that truth in the products they're selling. All proceeds go to support the ministry, its missionaries, and hiring neighbors. But it's also a way that a lot of people don't, don't maybe know that they can get involved locally. And they're looking for more to join We Will Go. They hope the booth attracts attention to the God-centered mission. At Mistletoe Marketplace, Beth Alexander, 